All because of you guys, I've decided to check out the Texas public transportation system. So I'm here in Carrollton at Trinity Mills, I believe. And yeah, this is supposed to be like a certain line. I was gonna check it out. This is the park and ride right behind me. And this way is all the buses and trains. Here are the buses and trains. They're colored in yellow. Even the train is colored in yellow. I just want to show you guys that this is where people go to commute into the city typically, as most places connect into downtown Dallas to get to other parts of the city. And the places I saw it was pretty clean. It is Wednesday morning. It is around 8 a.m. just to give you an idea. And now over here we have a more expanded rail map right here. So we are in Trinity Mills once again. So that's over here in Carrollton area next to all the H Mart and stuff. And this is a pretty good map because of the fact that it shows things as it would in like a Google map. So it gives you a better idea of what's out there. Like Roulette and Garland. And then you have like all your Plano all the way up here, downtown Plano, City Line, etc. on the red line. And then you have Union Station, downtown Dallas, etc. So this is a pretty good idea of how everything actually works. Like you could get from downtown all the way to Las Colinas, to DFW, or you could take the blue line and then get all the way to Fort Worth you know, passing through Irving. And then if you go down here, it goes as south as Westmoreland and Cockrell Hill. And then UNT Dallas all the way down here. You have this area in Deep Balloon that you can get to. And while filming this, I realized there's no connection between DFW and Carrollton or Carrollton to Plano, except via downtown. So here's an example. And since everything connects through downtown Dallas or something close to Dallas, take a look at this going from Carrollton all the way to DFW. It takes an hour and 11 minutes, whereas if you just take a car ride, it's 18 minutes to get there. And then in a second example, here is me trying to get from Carrollton to Plano to Shops at Legacy. So you have to take this two hour and 21 minute journey. Whereas if you just take a car ride, it's 12 minutes in a car. Like this is crazy. If you are living downtown, this will work for you better. Now I'm guessing you guys want to know about the tickets and stuff. So here we have the tickets and information right at the station. You have a booth that looks like this. So you approach it and you see there's a pass one on the left, but we're not going to use that one. Instead, we're going to use this one here. This is the one that has local, regional, and reduced fares, depending on different trains that you're planning to take. Much of the railway that I showed in the map earlier is the local one. And then as you get outside to DCTA and above, that's going to be regional. And on the machine itself, you have adult, high school, child, college, senior options. So five options in total. And when we click on adult, you see there's three options where you have local AM, day pass, and midday all of which have different prices. Like this AM ticket will cost you $3. And when you click day pass options, you have a $6 option for local and $12 for regional, of which it tells you right on the screen here where it's valid. Then I tried to get the midday pass, but it says it's valid 9.30 AM to 2.30 PM. So unfortunately I couldn't get one of those. For high school students, you get a discount that's 50% off because it's $1.50 for local and $3 for a day pass. And if you select college, you get the same prices as high school students, but you have to show a photo ID. Likewise, the price is the same for seniors and disabled people. And also the same price for a child, $150 local AM and $3 for a day pass. And the machine does take coins, cards, and cash, and it dispenses the ticket below. While at the station, just take note of specific signs like this because it says, if you're going to Denton County, all you need is a local fare. And the waiting area at local stations have shaded places like this with some marquees that show when the next train is coming. So five minutes and then the next one 15 minutes later at 20 minutes. And here is the train table for this particular station. So it's very helpful in terms of identifying what time the train will be coming, as well as the direction that the train will be going. So like 903, 918, 933, 946 for this side to Carrollton, and then these times for that side. And also note that the weekends have slightly different times. So here is a train to Buckner, just as an example. Looks like they got some bike racks, place to put luggage and stuff like that. But other than that, it's a standard train, pretty clean as well. And over here, we have a system map, which includes the buses as well. So even if you go on Google Maps, you'll see the same thing. You have the major lines that show the trains that run through, like this dark green line, dark orange line, etc. And then these narrower lines show the bus routes, like this purple one here, as well as the bus numbers that travel through each different area. And as we move the map from Carrollton to Garland, you get an idea of the major lines and then the bus lines that go right through the city. You have bus lines that go right through Irving and even down here in Cockrell Hill area. And as I zoom out, this is the whole area that the dart covers with buses and trains. 
And if you need assistance, you have blue poles like this just waiting for your call. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I pretty much just showed the dart in the Carrollton area. Of course, as you go down to Union Station, as you go down to downtown Dallas, you're probably going to have different stations since this is more like a, you know, regional looking station outside of the city. Just to give you guys an idea, I want to film that for you and I hope you guys enjoy it. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what you think in the comments and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.